Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Northfield Park here on Saturday. It is the 12th of August, 2023. I'm going to look at the 11th race from Northfield, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And remember to go check out my Colonial Downs Arlington Million preview today, and also my four star Dave preview from Saratoga. Some great racing all across the, um, the country today. So, um, you know, enjoy. Uh, it's, it's one of those days you just sit in, in front of the TV from like, you know, noon until like 11 o'clock at night because it's just going to be a good card of racing everywhere. But um, let's look at the 11th race in Northfield, which is the feature. It's the Carl Milstein Memorial. It's for three year old open pace. He's going for a $300,000 purse. We have nine horses going that mile trip. My top selection, I'm going to go with the one horse, seven colors. Let's go 1594 in the Super Facta. 1594 Super. Top selection, one horse. Seven Colors, it's Three Year Colt by Stay Hungry, Harris Trains One, Dexter Dunn is in the Sulky. Last week, the horse ran the Cane Pace at the Meadowlands on the 5th of August, and the horse finished second by four lengths, and just nothing went to this horse's liking that day. He had a wide trip, he was first over throughout, he had to lean the top of the lane, and then he crumbled. You know, the winner closed up from nowhere, um, Confederate, to get the job done. This horse, he just wasn't, cat. you know, this horse just couldn't catch Confederate that day, who just ran terrifically. This horse, he ran a good final quarter that day, but he still needed something more. Coming back here, you know, on a speed-favoring track, should get an easy lead from the inside. I think he'd go all the way and, and run a good race. Two back, the horse ran the Adios at the Meadows on the uh, 29th of July, and the horse finished third by three-quarters of a length that day. And uh, that afternoon, he, he just sat back early. He really closed up well late. He just missed uh, in that all-out finish, but he ran his heart out that day. He definitely outran his 31-1 to odds that afternoon, and the limbs for the Adios at the Meadows on the 22nd of July. He finished third by one-half lengths from the inside. He didn't get the lead off the gate, but he got it shortly after. He kind of got overtaken late, but, you know, he, he ran his heart out that day. And then the messenger at Yonkers on the 30th of June, last time he was on a half mile, he finished 7 by 6 and 3 quarter lengths that day. It was a mile 16th race, keep in mind. Uh, again, he, he just was over and, um, y you know, just never really um, was comfortable there um, uh, with the first over trip. Uh, and then the North America Cup the week prior, the horse finished 4th by 3 lengths there. And again, he, uh, another wide trip. He just wasn't really comfortable. He won the... Um, Pennsylvania Sire Stakes prior to that where he won by two and a quarter lengths closing up from nowhere that he that day hit a good trip but uh, when he when he's first over he doesn't really w run well he should get an easy trip from the inside and I think he could get some redemption from some of his most previous races I'm going to use him here the five horse tip top cat for Ron Burke and Yannick Jinger wouldn't surprise me if this horse wins most recently ran the um, 6th of August which was this past Sunday at uh, the Red Mile in Lexington and the Kentucky Commonwealth where he won by um, three lengths that day and basically on the front end in 148 for you know he he paced home terrifically for his best time of the year quick turnaround back to the half mile has some pace i think he could run a good race he nearly won the tompkins two weeks prior at the meadowlands on the mile track where he finished second by a neck that day and he you know he, he sat back early he slowly moved his way wide and you know he, he was closing up well late he just missed but he ran his heart out that day uh, in a very tough race um and then prior to that none was the three extended pair of mutuals at the meadowlands he won by four and three quarter lengths and he uh, or excuse me at the meadows he won quite easily in a trot coming here today he could definitely win i would use him in the late pick four but to recap my selection for the 11th from northfield now it is the carl milstein memorial gonna take the one horse seven colors give kudos to the five horse tip top cat one five nine four super one five in your multi-race so good luck to one please follow me on twitter at horse racing kid five good luck everybody